Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a minor change in the season. We're still in summer, but we've kind of moved into a subset of summer that uh, is called late summer sometimes. And uh, it's kind of August through uh, early September up until the the, um, the equinox and uh, equinox solstice equinox yes equinox uh, up until the equinox and uh, so that uh, we're still we're still got the the fire of summer so that's a a very young element and so and that we we address the south the south is where the where the spire chi comes from uh thinking in terms of uh of the compass points and uh, but in late summer there's a shift we're going from that from that really vibrant young 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 of the early summer and we're now kind of going to the it's still young but it's more of a yin yang and so they uh it softens it and that's where we move from fire into earth so we're transitioning from from the fire of summer to the the yin element of of uh, metal in fall and uh, and that's where things are where, you know the moving from the yang of summer to the yin of winter so it goes through metal as a transition to that and this is sort of a, a kind of a a place where we get centered as we're making that transition. We, we hit our peak energetically, and, and I feel it. I feel the, uh, you know, the this whole summer has been like, you know, really electric for me, and uh, it's affecting my sleep and everything too. And late summer, we get into Earth, which is instead of being a compass point, it's it's the center and it includes all the compass points, but it's also seen, you know, encountered through the perspective of that central pole. And um, Earth is related to issues of stomach and spleen. And uh, so it has a lot to do with digestion. And I feel that too. I feel like that, that's, uh, you know, my digestion in, the, in this time of year is um, I'm not very hungry you know i just tend to eat less and less in this in this this time i don't really have a a strong desire for things and uh, the earth element tends to uh, attract uh sweet you know particularly like you know fruits like watermelon and cantaloupe and peaches and things like that strawberries so that that is the uh the the feeling of of the earth uh, at this time, it um, it balances you out, and it kind of creates a calmness, a centeredness. Um, one thing that you know you can do, and I, I I do often, is to just feel along your rib cage and just kind of poke in there and find some uh, like a tender spot along that. And this is what we're encountering is spleen energy. When we do that, just kind of do it. And if you find a tender spot, that sort of indicates that there's a uh, some, you know, energy is not moving as as uh, freely as it could. And just push in on that or you can you can strike it and thump it. But uh, I like to just to hold those points and and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth and just do that like three times. So let's just do that right now. Just kind of get that that spleen chi going. Good. Notice the calming effect that has. That as you you're, as you get into that spleen chi, it kind of brings it centers you, it grounds you. It also helps you with your metabolism, since it's affecting your spleen and your stomach. 
and it affects your metabolism. So anyway, there's uh, there's that. So what we're going to do is a meditation where we're going to address the the different directions, the four directions, from the perspective of the center of, and we'll we'll encounter that through our central equilibrium. So, uh, you know, and that's something we do all the time. We, you know, emphasize, you know, it's the, one of the three pillars and it, that's where we plug into the big G. Well, whatever we emphasize it as we're going to be doing today, that kind of like brings the spotlight onto that one element and everything is perceived through that that earthy, grounded, centered, that central pole that uh, that we get, you know, with our with our our central equilibrium, our Zhong Ding, and uh, and then from that we open up to the the different directions and the corresponding elements and allow that to feed us. And we've done this uh, before uh, uh, in this class. We've done a uh, uh, that those types of meditation going through the different, the different uh, directions. And then from there, we're going to incorporate that into a couple of simple Tai Chi movements and to kind of really bring that earth energy, that, that quality of um, uh, centeredness into, into these movements and then feel into the, the different directions from the perspective of being centered. Okay, so once you stand up, we'll uh, we'll do some uh, uh, an earth meditation. Okay, let's first let's get our three pillars in. And point your index fingers, feel, point and reach with that, feel your index fingers, feel your hands. So we're establishing our energetic coherence first. And just take a moment with that and just really feel the effect that that simple action has of creating coherence, how it unifies the whole, the whole body-mind. Reach out a little bit with your elbows and it opens up the shoulder joints. You feel the effect of that simple action of reaching with your elbows. And you'll notice it right in your, in your hand. You'll start to notice a tingling, pulsing happening immediately in, in your fingers. The knees are bent. And let's look at the central equilibrium now. We're going to into the balls of the feet and just feel, feel your weight over the balls of your feet, but spread throughout the whole foot, which is centered over the balls of your feet. And same time, you're reaching up with the crown of the head, tucking into chin. Open up the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. You'll feel your body sinking down, down, down to meet the earth. You're letting go of your muscular resistance to the earth and just allowing the structure of your body to do the work for you. See how much of your muscular tension in your legs you can let go of and still hold that posture. So you're sinking down and inviting the earth chi to rise up through the bubbling well points in the balls here in the uh, centers of your feet. Simultaneously, you're reaching up with the crown of your head. So your body is sinking down, but your crown, your Reaching up with that, tucking into chin. 
lengthening your neck as you do so. Relax your lower back and drop your sacrum. Reaching with the crown of the head allows the yang chi of the heavens to come down, animate the body with the yang chi, feeling your weight over the balls of your feet allows that, opens that energy gates in the yang tran, the bubbling well points, allows the earth chi to rise. And just very gently release your hip joints nice and easy. Just but let that go, allowing the energy to move smoothly through your through your quad. Yeah, now I'm going to turn, I'm going to face the east, and it, to the extent that you can, I, I don't know how you're set up, but if you can, you, you want to face east, if not, pretend you're, I'm sorry, south, I'm facing south now, and uh, I want to uh, uh, find that central equilibrium now, while looking to the south, and what I'm doing is I'm inviting the fire chi the, of, the, of the south, I'm inviting that in. But I'm also simultaneously feeling into that centeredness, that, that central pole there. So here I'm, I'm addressing the south. So what this is doing is it's establishing my relationship to something much bigger. I'm doing that just by going into the central equilibrium. I'm, I'm accessing the big G that way. But I also now want to, to do it in terms of the four directions. I'm allowing the south to come in, the fire chi to come in. And this nourishes my heart. And the, uh, that fire chi is also corresponds to joy. I want to feel that feeling with joy. But we're meeting it from the perspective of earth. So we're centered and we're receiving the joyful fire chi coming in, animating the whole system. Now feel your, with your back, feel your, the water chi from the north behind you and feel that nourishing you. Now feel the the south and the north simultaneously feeding you and you're occupying that central pole. Breathe deeply, relax. So we're accessing the big chi in an expanded way. We ordinarily do that through our three pillars, but we're now also doing it with, uh, by addressing the south and the north, feeling that water chi feeding your kidneys.
Now, if you're facing south field to the left, and that will be the uh, east, and the energy at the east is wood. That's that expansive, going from yin to yang kind of energy. What makes the, the flowers, it makes the, the trees grow and, and the grass pop up. It's that wood chi. And so feel that coming from the east. But occupying your center, occupying that earthy center and let that feed you. Now to the right, you have the West and the en energy of the West is metal. That element is metal. And that's going from yang to yin. It's where things are getting more condensed. There's also a letting go. It's a throwing away time. So that we want to feel into that too. So we're the, the wood chi is filling us up with expansive energy, with growth. The metal energy is throwing it away, throwing any stuff we don't need, throwing it away, disposing. The metal energy is moving towards solidity. It's moving toward condensing and getting more solid. The wood chi is moving toward expansion, getting more insubstantial. It's moving from water to fire. So it's getting more, it's opening up more. So we're getting, both of these are feeding us simultaneously. And you're feeling that earth element in the center there. You feel occupying that central pole and allowing those two to come in, meeting in the center. Now we're going to occupy that space, feel into that, that central equilibrium, really establish that, feel your feet, reach of the crown of your head, feel that central pillar. And this time we're going to feel all four directions simultaneously, allowing the fire and the water to feed us, the wood and the metal to feed us, and the earth to integrate all of them, bring them all together and feed your body, feed your mind, feed your spirit. Pivot out on your left heel. Now go 45 and step forward with your right foot. Now we're going to bring that energy of those four directions. We're still addressing the, we're still facing toward the, the, uh, the south, but going to now uh, move between the ward off posture and the rollback. So very simply, it's we're going like this. We're going to be moving, and don't get too don't worry too much about your form on this. It's just that we're talking about the expansiveness of the yang impulse of going into a ward off, and then the yin impulse of going into the rollback. So the Pong Jin, that is the up and out energy 
of the of the ward off then gives way to the yin energy the down and in energy the luge energy uh, of, of the rollback so what I want you to do is to read this nice and slow and so we and the thing I want you to really feel your central equilibrium as you move between your legs, okay? And move between the two postures. So we're in our, primarily in our back leg now, and now we're gonna sink into the front leg and very slowly and very slowly feel that central equilibrium in motion. So it's not a static thing that we are feeling our center, our earth, even as we move into a ward off posture. Right arm curved in front, left hand facing, the palm facing the right one. And then, now we're gonna feel the left foot sink into the left leg and very slowly you're turning and your center is moving more and more toward the back leg. Feel the right foot, and very slowly, you're gonna push your right knee forward, you're gonna slowly move, turning and feeling your center as you move into the ward off posture. And just hold that and just feel yourself very stably in the ward off posture. Feel the yang energy, the yang, the pong jin, the up and out energy that comes with this. The expansiveness. Feel the four directions feeding you as you do this. And turn and then feel your left foot. And you set your left knee and very slowly you're going to move into that left leg. Feeling each moment, moment by moment, your earth, your center moving with that. Feel your right foot. Push your right knee forward and very slowly you're moving into that right leg, into that ward off posture. You turn to your left foot, sit, set your left knee and turn. And just every moment, break down the moments the tiny little bits, each one of them having their its own characteristic energy. And then just hold that that liu posture. Now we're going down and in. The energy is is going down and it's like it's spiraling down through your left foot right now. Now, as we're going into the ward off posture, I want you to take the roll back with you. In other words, we just feel the ball set the knee, we just differentiated them. Now we're going to bring them in together. We're gonna to use the, the Lu energy to feed the Pong Jin. So feel that, that energy, that down and in energy feeding the up and out energy, both happening simultaneously. Set your left knee, set left ball, set the left knee and turning. This time we're going to, we're moving in the direction of, of rollback, but it's, we're feeding it with the rollback with the ward off. 
So that young expansiveness that up and out is feeding our, our, our Lu energy, our Lu Chin. And feel that, feel the, the Lu feeding the Pong. And Pong feeding the Lu. Keeping in mind that central equilibrium. Feel that Earth holding both of those together, Earth occupying that central pole there. And pause here and just feel into that. Now we're going to let that go. And we've planted the seed now. And I want you to just feel both simultaneously, but not differentiating. Just allow it to feed, just as the, the four directions are feeding your, your, your body mind. Now pause here and just feel into all that simultaneously and but thinking about none of them just feel them once you've introduced them to your superconscious then you don't have to think about them as much this is just a little practice and just going to that place and just allowing it to fill you to whatever extent you can receive it right now. You planted the seeds. Then go to the ward off and allow all those energies to fill you simultaneously, but don't think about them. Take it your left turn. And pivot on your left heel, step forward with your right foot. And we're returning now to the central pillar. Feeling the earth, but feeling it having been filled up with all those different energies, allowing that to integrate with the whole system. Feel the soft power in your arms, your legs, throughout your torso. Feel your sinews, you know, the pulsings that are occurring there. Feel the blood circulating in your in your veins, the chi in your in your bone marrow. Take it to your right foot, step in with your left foot. Take a deep breath. Inhale. 
And sink into your heels and exhale. Disappear the chi. Empty out. Dissolve into the emptiness. Throw all the thoughts away. Throw the energy away. Just feel into that neutral place of insubstantiality. Great. Please have a seat. That's a big head. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> sorry, that was Zoom changed something. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, okay. How was that? Good. Good. Any thoughts you'd like to share? Jonathan, is it, it? It's like each one, isn't it? There's this sense of being like a bomb exploding in all directions or something as you're holding a form, right? Isn't there some something we do with that? As I remember, in fact, there's a picture of Fook standing there and it's like calm eyes, but it's like that notion of coming apart in all directions or something. I I felt some of that. I it, it, there's something. I guess once you start feeling your body as energy, you're ready for it to blend more with the air. My Tai Chi can be slow, the air going through. So to address it one by one, beginning with a direction, because I had to turn around, <laughs> had my back to the screen, but it was okay, the, the directions were simple enough. But even just to start there, like this direction and you have something to relate to each other. You're not just an empty space neutral there's actually an energy one way and it's a very cool thing to start now connecting up with the different energies and ultimately as a way of it defines you in one way it's like you're it's pinning you in by these energies on the other hand it's pulling you out into all of them it's a very profound practice i think cool thank you that that's a great comment thank you so yes that quality of uh uh, being full of energy, the energy, the uh, you know, the, the expression I ran into a long time ago was like the energy should be excited and excitable. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. So, but we would differentiate that between the calm center. That's where the earth comes in. Mm, we, have, mm -hmm. we have this calm center, and everything around us is seething it's bubbling it's it's right. excited it's and right. it's capable of going in all directions like you say a bomb going off and uh but it's it's one that can also be directed we can we can take that energy and move it in any along any vector that we like right. and so so we're what we're doing is we are creating this this quality there in our being that we can then access and use to uh, to to make stuff happen, and uh, so. Um, but first, we want to get familiar with what that feels like to be have you know uh, like the you know the explanation of Wu Ji that I really like is infinite potentiality, zero manifestation. You know, has mm. that kind of, that kind mm. of thing where you're you're mm. like. It's a, it's ready to go, but it it doesn't have an agenda. We have to right. we have to make an agenda. We have right. to say, 
okay, now we're going to assign, you know, meaning and direction to these things. Cool. Uh, Scott. So, um, when you had us, after we did the directions and then we did the four directions and then we did the earth, there was like a um, palpable, like a thump of earth energy. It was like somebody dumped a dump truck of dirt on me. <laughs> <laughs> and it really, whoa, is the is the feeling. It was like, whoa. And then, yeah, and then blending them all, uh, you know, uh, yeah, but like you said, it's just, yeah, um, filling them all at once and, and woo, it's, uh, there wasn't much me there. It was just, <laughs> there was just the witness in the back and it was all just, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Valerie. I'm feeling very, very earthy. <laughs> very, uh, very earthy. I, it, uh, time, it was like, I realized, okay, he's closing us down. And I looked at the clock and it was like, okay, that was interesting. Because <laughs> I lost, lost everything as far as connection into time. Um, yes, feeding feeling fed, uh, you know, from all the directions and the different energies, elements. Um, and these are not the right words. Feeling big and small at the same time. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Yes, but big and small. <laughs> That's what that, it was like... Uh, I'm lost for words. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. Uh, but it is, it's that the heaviness of the earth. Mm. Okay. But it's not limited to that heaviness. It's like you're, I don't feel the bomb going off. I feel the expansiveness. Mm. So it's, it's, it, to me, those, those words aren't resonating, but it's just that moving out from this central column that was very earthy, very cool, very, very cool. So, yeah it, yeah, it depends on which you're looking at. If you're, if you're focusing on the earthy part, you're getting exactly what you're talking about there. If you're talking about the energy that's being you know, amassed around you, that's being attractive to that, then your attention is going to be on on the excited and the excitable, and both are true. It's which which one do you want? So the 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 energy is is the yang part, the earth is the is the yin part, and so you get so we get we get both, and uh, and it, to the degree that we can hold these two poles simultaneously, we get this wonderful yin yang. Uh, connection that is uh, uh, creates very fertile. It it opens up many doors. You you. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to approach this, but in a couple of months, I'm going to be teaching a uh, a mini course, like an hour and a half. Of this is Tai Chi. Right, this is Tai Chi, and I'm going to do this. <laughs> Great. Going to be 18, 19, 20 year olds, right? Uh -huh. and Fantastic. I can just see them going, What the F? I had no idea this is what Tai Chi was, you know, because we're not going to be doing a whole bunch. I don't have enough time to teach them a whole bunch of different moves. I'm going to teach them central equilibrium, and I'm going to teach them earth and this and the universe beautiful beautiful it uh it really expands our space to to be able to do that that we are now in direct communication with the four four directions 
and and we are meeting the four directions and and in so doing we resonating with something much greater and but having that earth as a central pillar it organizes everything is like this a spinning top you know right around that central pole there and there's a, all this activity going on but there's you know it's the center is very very quiet jonathan you had something well i just you know if you're teaching tai chi those first the intro is like man you could just do the whole six whatever i mean the lessons just on that like you do it then they do it you watch them do it and say by the way there are nine different things i am doing there are nine very distinct steps i am doing to create this very little simple elegant flowing movement you just saw me do it's it's that's kind of mind-blowing in the best way uh i think and um I find myself doing the intro. I, I once Rick really broke it down that way. I just did it all day instead of why stand when I can do the intro. Nobody knows I'm doing Tai Chi. It's the least showy of anything we do. The arms aren't doing really anything. You're kind of just standing there, but you're you're repeating and repeating and repeating and re, 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 reinforcing so many fundamentals of what's going to follow you throughout the form. And it's like you know if you don't have the intro right. Nothing else is going to go that well, I think. You know what I mean? Because the fundamentals are all there. That's that's why I just think there's so much cool stuff in that prep. Uh, it's like its own form, you know? It's, it's, it's the form before the form, basically, you know? So, yeah, my two cents for that. The most important move in the form. There you go. We can also introduce this, this the concept, what you're talking about there, Valerie, that is bringing the earth into that you know and and feel that you know each movement as we as we move from predominantly in the right leg into the left leg and and just feeling that and just feeling where the movement of the central equilibrium as we as we do that it's kind of cool well i remember at that age not having much earth <laughs> at all everything uh. Excited and excitable. So yeah. So emphasizing the earth is is a really good idea there. Really just, you know, say yes, that's that's oh, okay. And that, you know, creates a uh, an orientation point in in the vast confusion of life. <laughs> Great. Okay, I think we're gonna end off here. Thank you all so much. It's beautiful. And uh see you soon. Thank you. Love you, Maria. Love you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria.